Welcome to another Feed Scroll Generator video for Autodesk Inventor. We're going to be looking at what's new in version 4 of the app. If you've been following the app for a while, version 3 was mainly focused on improving the speed and general capabilities of the app. Version 4 is now looking more at the user experience to improve that. So looking at what we'll be covering, the main item is a new dockable form to input your shaft specification and also support for the dark theme in Inventor 2021. We've also added a complete set of images to explain what each of the input items is in the form and some graphics which I'll show you in a moment. We can now flip the bottles when we're simulating if you want the bottles to be on the reverse side of the shaft and for convenience we auto restart the form if you um, edit the bottle shape. We've also got some bug fixes, useful things like support for se uh, second monitor. So let's head over into Inventor and take a look first hand. So I'm going to hit the generate button here and we'll see the new user interface form it is a dockable window on the left hand side here more neatly laid out. The main difference you may notice is that we don't have a big visual picture of a shaft here on the form. Um, so in order to help us decipher what each of these input items are actually relating to we've now got helpful input assistance for each one of these. So each one of these items has got description and picture here. So these top ones are easy. Shaft rotation, this will show you what the difference between a right hand and left hand shaft is, but then length diameter they get slightly more complex as we go down so it'll explain the difference between uh, the bottle pitch start lead in and the end lead out for bottle pitch and also the variable bottle distance from, ac uh, from the shaft axis here as well so these helpful descriptions should make it much easier to see how to input the right data well, let me show you how the app looks if you're not yet convinced by the dark side in Inventor 21 or if you're using an earlier version of Inventor. Here's the light theme, exactly the same, nice and clear, just gives you more space uh, than the previous input form for actually seeing what the model's doing on the screen. So let's head back to the dark theme because it's hurting my eyes a bit and uh, let's take a look at some of these toggle switches. So we're all used to these modern style of toggle switch. We've got a few nice optional extras here. If we turn on a variable distance from the axis, from the shaft axis here, and if we for instance put in a larger distance here, then it's nice and easy to see um, where which route these bottles are going to take along the shaft. Uh, let's just change a few of these numbers here to make it nice and clear as well. So there's no longer any doubt about the, um, the path these bottles are going to take. When it comes to uh, bottle rotation, we can see now visually, if I turn the bottle rotation on and off, we can see visually much more clearly whether the bottles are rotating anti-clockwise here, we can toggle them to clockwise, or we can toggle them off. Now, of course, we, we need to change the bottle shape to actually see the rotation here. So let's take a look at another improvement here as we do that. So uh, it's just a small one, but if I hit edit the bottle shape here, and if I just change the, um, the shape of the bottle, with a three-point rectangle. I'll try and sketch this as efficiently as possible. Sketch a roughly sized rectangle here. Let's get that back square. And let's put a fillet on here, say 10 millimeters. And let's pick this here. Right, so when we're done sketching the bottle shape, we finish the sketch. Now previously, in the previous version of the app, we would then have to restart the app to, um, to uh, re-enter the form here, but you see it rebuilds the form automatically with the new bottle shape. So let's just make a few final tweaks to the design of this shaft. And then we'll be ready to actually build it and we can take a look at the simulation improvements that we've got in there as well. Let's maybe make this shaft a bit longer as well. So I'm ready to build this shaft. Let's uh, whack this accuracy up a bit so that we get a full production ready shaft uh, with the slightly more complex bottle geometry. And let's hit uh, the smooth generate button here. So this is the preview generate button now and this is the smooth uh, to generate the final smooth shaft. So we'll save this file 
and I'll probably pause the video now while it generates and we'll come back and look at the simulation in a moment. The shaft's created successfully. Let's take a look at uh, simulating it now. So I'm just going to hit the simulate button up here and we'll see the new uh, dark theme simulation form and also the new ability to uh, to flip the bottles as we're simulating. So it's just generating the simulation now. And let's drag the slider along. See the bottles move as per usual. But this time we've got the ability to flip the bottles to show them either left or right of the shaft as we're performing the simulation. So depending on the design of your shaft you can uh, make that change. Okay, so just a convenience option there. Remember, of course, we can assemble additional components into this simulation using the normal inventor place component commands if you want to add uh, a bigger level of realism and some sort of peripheral components in uh, for a visualization for a customer or something like that. Okay, that's all the improvements in version 4 of the app. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching.